بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم السلام علیکم اسٹوڈنٹس آئی ایم سوری فار ریکارڈنگ ویری لیٹ دا فرسٹ لیکچر فار یور سبجیکٹ انٹروڈکشن ٹو انگلش لٹریچر ٹو اینڈ ٹوڈے ایز یو کین سی آن دا اسکرین وی ووڈ بی ٹاکنگ اباؤٹ دا انگلش ناول وی ووڈ بی ڈیفائننگ اٹ اینڈ وی ووڈ بی لوکنگ ایٹ سم کیریکٹرسٹکس آف اٹ اینڈ سم ایلیمنٹس ایز ویل سو It is a very basic and introductory lecture, so uh, you would not find much detail in it, but uh, you have to read the material I have provided you on the SIS, uh, the different uh, doc files and other files so that you could uh, get a comprehensive knowledge about what is English novel. So without wasting further time, uh, we would begin with the definition of a novel. So you can see an invented prose narrative of considerable length and a certain complexity that deals imaginatively with human experience, usually through a connected sequence of events involving a group of persons in a specific setting. So a novel is, uh, the first thing is, it is an invented prose narrative. The first thing here is invented, that it is something made up. It is something which was not there already and the writer invents it makes it up and it is prose and uh, as opposed to poetry and it is a narrative it is a story basically it is uh, someone narrates or someone tells us story in a novel and so it is a story which is invented which is not uh, fact or real and it is in prose and uh, of considerable length a novel uh, is supposed to have a certain length It cannot be very short or it cannot be very, very long. So it has a um, criteria for length as well. And a certain complexity, a novel cannot be very much simple uh, like uh, some short stories we have. That deals imaginatively with human experience. The first thing there was invented. So how do writers invent stories? They use their imagination. So... A novel or uh, the, the story of a novel deals imaginatively with human experience. A novel talks about humans and their experiences in life, but it is imaginative. It is not completely fact, usually through a connected sequence of events. So to be a story and to be uh, understandable, a story must be um, connected and it the events uh, a story presents must have a proper sequence and that sequence may be different we may have chronological sequence we, we may have other sequences as well involving a group of persons in a specific setting so when we say that a novel talks about human experience so there should be at least humans or persons in it so it may be a group of persons it may be some uh, two or three persons and it uh, The persons are set in a specific setting. So you would be seeing that people are there in a proper setting regarding time and regarding play. We would be talking about setting uh, later as well. So a novel is invented. It is made up. It is fabricated. It is not completely fact or real. And it is in prose. It is a narrative. It is a story. It has a, a certain length and certain complexity. And it talks about human experience uh, with the use of imagination. And it has a connected sequence of events and it involves group of persons and those group of, that group of persons is uh, presented or is shown in a specific time and in a specific place. That's uh, the basic definition of a novel. So uh, no a novel is a genre of fiction. You might know what a genre is. Uh, you might have studied it in uh, Intro to Literature 1. So a genre is kind or type of uh, writing or literature here. So it is a genre of fiction. And what is fiction? Fiction is the art or craft of contriving. Again, contriving is inventing, making up something which is not there or which is not true or which is not a fact. So that is contriving. And uh, fiction is opposed to non-fiction. Non-fiction generally is related to fact or close to fact or reality. Fiction is fictitious. 
novels uh, we, we had talked about length as well that novels have a, a certain length so fiction can uh, range from anecdotes to very long uh, pieces of writing so anecdotes are short very short stories which sometimes have a moral lesson and anecdotes usually uh, belong to a person's or a society's life or past or culture so very short stories are anecdotes and we can have very long novels as well so all of that uh, comes in the umbre under the umbrella of fiction so length matters if a novel has short length it it may be termed a novella or a novelette and if, if a novel is very very long it may be uh, a roma floof uh, which is a um, very long novel actually you can search the term on internet as well and moving on towards the etymology or the origin of the word novel so it is a truncation or a short form of the italian word novella so the word novel has been derived from uh, italian word novella and that novella is from the um, uh, from has been taken from latin and the latin word was novellus and novellus was a variant a changed word from novus and novus means new so novel is new you might have been um, hearing about novel coronavirus so that novel coronavirus the word novel is actually the same word here novel meaning new and uh, and in um, in the past in history in uh, italy uh, and in uh, rome where these words have come from they uh, what did they mean when they said a novella or a novelus or novus they uh, were uh, referring to stories uh, which were little new things or novelties new stories or freshly invented uh, diversions or stories or they have been uh, say, called as toys as well so they are not actually reworking or re uh, structuring of old or known fables or myths or past stories these are actually new stories which are made up by writers using their imagination and when they said novel they meant that a novel generally lacks in weight and moral uh, earnestness so lacking in weight means a novel uh, usually uh, does not talk about very serious matters or very grave or grand matters in life and it also lacks moral earnestness means that it uh, does not usually contain a strong moral or religious tone or lesson as well so this is the general perception uh, regarding the term novel in, in its history but recently novels may have um, they have taken uh, moral tones as well and they talk about serious or grave aspects of life as well uh, coming to the elements of a novel elements uh, a novel has usually four main elements the plot or the story characters scene and setting and narrative method and point of view so uh, let's begin with the plot so plot uh, is the basic storyline a writer conceives the story in his mind or in her mind first so that basic very basic storyline is the plot actually or we can uh, define plot as the basic sequence of events what happens first and what happens next and then what happens and then what happens so from the beginning of a story till its end all that sequence basic sequence of events or arrangement of events or happenings or occurrences is the plot for example Charles Dickens has written a novel Christmas Carol in 1843 and he might have uh, conceived or thought of it uh, this novel first as a misanthrope is reformed through magical visitations on Christmas Eve so this might be the ba very basic idea of the novel when it first emerged in the imagination of the writer so from this very basic storyline or basic event he contrived he made up a complete novel or Jane Austen's Pride and Prejudice which was written in uh, 1813 she might have conceived it as a young couple destined to be married have first to overcome the barriers of pride and prejudice the basic storyline and then she made up a complete novel from it and she added certain things and added uh, material into it and made up a complete novel 
द सेकेंड इज कैरेक्टर कैरेक्टर इज वेरी सिंपल वेन वी हैव अ स्टोरी वी यूजली हैव पीपल इन इट दैट सम वन डिड समथिंग और सम वन सैड समथिंग और द किंग थाट अबाउट दिस और द प्रिंस वॉज डूइंग समथिंग और द प्रिंसेस वॉज सेंग समथिंग सो ऑल दीज पीपल दीज ह्यूमन्स और समटाइम्स वी हैव नॉन ह्यूमन एजेंट्स लाइक एनिमल्स सो ऑल दीज ह्यूमन और नॉन ह्यूमन एजेंट्स दैट कैरी आउट द एक्शन ऑफ डूइंग और द एक्शन ऑफ सेंग और द एक्शन ऑफ थिंकिंग एटसेट्रा these agents are referred to as characters and uh, when we say characterization it actually means the art of making character how does a writer present or make up a character in the story that is characterization the next uh, element is scene or setting and scene or setting refers to the context or to the time and place of the story so um, when we read a story we generally have an idea that when did this story happened or occurred or where the story occurred so that when and where time and place of the story that is referred to as setting for example you might uh, have come across a story which uh, um, talks about um, the life of um, the holy prophet peace be upon him so that the um, uh, is the time and if that story talks about uh, is uh, talking about certain events or actions happened in madina or makkah so madina or makkah are the place and the time is the time when the holy prophet uh, was here on the earth narrative method and uh, method and point of view are a bit tricky to uh, understand but um, inshallah you will get it so usually when we have a story we have a storyteller and that storyteller is the narrator of the story for example if something has happened to me or in my past or in my present and if i am uh, telling that story to someone how would i tell it that i was there in islamabad and one day i was going to um, the market and something happened etc so when a person is narrating a story and that person is part of that story that way of telling the story or that way of narration is called as first person narration so in first person narration the narrator or the storyteller is part of that story but sometimes uh, we uh, rather usually we have third person narration in novels or short stories so third person narration is that that narrator or the storyteller is not part of the story so we have usually third person pronouns in it so he she it so uh, when we say there was a king he was very uh, gentle or um, he was very rude or barbaric etc so when we refer to things as he or she or it and they that is third person narration and uh, narrative method and point of view are a bit um, connected or they are a bit confusing to differentiate but actually they are different in point of view is the lens through which we see the story for example the writer might have written the story in a way that first we see the whole world or the story from the eyes of the king and then later the scene shift uh, towards the uh, the lens of the prince so usually in dramas you have that um one character is thinking and is observing the whole um, story or the characters from his point of view or his mind and then we shift to the mind of another character and we see things from his or her eyes or mind so that is point of view that from which angle from which lens the story is being revealed so narrative method and point of view are a bit different yet a bit similar and uh, uh thank you very much if you have questions regarding it you may ask uh, uh using any medium uh, you may deem better or feasible or appropriate and uh thank you very much